and creatures. Marshalling of the day. Blurp! It's Blurp, the batty bubblefish. <laughs> Monster legends of the day. Tiny Trap. There's a small toxic jungle in the wasteland, but you can't visit it unless you want to fight with Tiny Trap. He says that the jungle in his pocket early. Al Jenning, that is the only place in the wastelands that his skin can weather. But can you share, Tiny Trap? Plus, you don't need a gigantic scrap axe to protect your personal s space. And Dragon City of the Dra Dragon City of the Day, Hydra Dragon. The legend tells that when you cut one of the Hydra Dragon's heads off, two more will grow in its place. So uh, you. Better keep this dragon and his poisonous breath on your side. It looks like Skiny has been Hydra. Let's hear for day four. Day four of Thirty One Nights of Halloween, twenty twenty four, with Monster Masters all throughout October. Montella sure love M and M's and Skittles. But it looks like she really needs to learn how to share. So, anyways, here's the uh, the free forms. Thirty one nights of Halloween. First up, before doing that again, it's the Lego Mixel Series Six Munchos Max Snacks Burp and Vaca Wapica opening review. And let's take a look at the second one. M&M's Cookie Inception, 2023 USA. Hey, I saw that commercial coming on for now. Our third one is the Super Bowl 50 Skittles ad. So anyways, moving on to this one. Hey, it's a brand new animation! Yay! Well, for example, in day one... I'm having in Snapshot for this Palu, an island country known for its unique location of the marine lakes. There are some it's crawling with jellyfish, but thankfully, these are more harmless ones and you can swim with them. Best wear a scuba kit, though. With him are crossover villains trapped inside the uh, Flood Flask, Aqua Axe, and Frost Helm. Traps... These include Chelsea Von Der Zeek, a Z, a.k.a. Queen Narissa from Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken, Nanu, a.k.a. King Shark from the DC Comics, and Silent Petrukov, a.k.a. Ice King from Adventure Time. Oh wait, look how the comments that is. Skylanders and Bob's Burgers fan said, Thanks for my Chelsea Vendor Zerk suggestions. So, uh, in the middle meantime, let's get to it. So electrified. Let's hear for the examples. In the recent non-binary human pseudonym named Chelsea Vanderzeek, 
is the main antagonist of DreamWorks 44th full-length animated film Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. She is the newest and most popular student at Oceanside High School. Posing as a regular human, her true form is actually a mermaid. Feigning a friendship with Ruby Gilman, Chelsea manipulates her into giving her a mythical trident, which she plans to use to increase her power, avenge her kind, and kill all the Kratons. She is also the arch nemesis of the Gilman family, particularly Ruby herself. She was voiced by the Kirby in her first villainous role. King Shark is a supervillain appearing in comic books published by DC Comics. The character, also known as Nana, was created by writer Carl Bessel and artist Don Grubbett. King Shark's first key appearance was in Superboy No. 0, October 1994, as a cameo before making his first full appearance in Superboy No. 9, November 1994. The character serves as an adversary to Aquaman, Flash, Batman, and Superboy. The character has been adapted from the comics into various forms of media, including television series, feature films, and video games. King Shark made his late action debut in the television series The Flash, voiced by David Hayter, while Dan Payne portrayed his human form. In the PC Extended Universe, King Shark was voiced by actor Sylvester Stallone in motion captured by Steve G. in the film The Suicide Squad, 2021. Simon Patrick, formerly known as the Ice King, is a major character in Adventure Time and a protagonist of his spin-off series Adventure Time, Fahamon and Cake. Originally depicted as a two-dimensional, humorously over-the-top villain trying to kidnap Princess Bubba and various other princesses in a regular basis, the character's personality was subsequently expanded, revealing him to be a kind-hearted but misunderstood old man with completely twisted senses of morality and social behavior, suffering from loneliness and memory loss. Later seasons unveil his tragic backstory, revealing he was once a good human named Simon Patrick who lost his mind, memories and loved ones due to the magic crown giving him his ice powers. Him come along with me, as King is permanently reverted back to Simon after almost being digested by Blau. Twelve years later, due to a botched magic ritual, he had intentionally brought Fahamon and Cake from their universe which was him in his mind. He went on a quest through the multiverse, while being hunted by an auditor named Scarab. After meeting Bald and authorizing Fahon world, he returned to the land of Ulo and accepts his life better. Thanks for watching! Happy Fall, everyone!